Forcer bits are some of my most favorite tools in my shop. I've spent hundreds of dollars on my set and use them all the time. But the one thing I hate about my Forcer bit collection is trying to find the right bit. If I'm really good, all my bits make it back to the box. But even that can be a problem. This is what my Forcer box looks like. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's full of sawdust because I never get the lid latched down due to not having the bits in the exact place. But even finding the right place is annoying. As you can see, the labels aren't clear as to which side my Forcer bit go. But that's me and I'm sure I'm probably not the majority. The real problem that I have is that it doesn't seem to matter what kind of Forzner bit that I buy, but the identification on the shaft always seems to get rubbed off, which makes putting these things away even more of a chore. If you remember the wall that I built behind me, I used a shadow box technique to make sure that my tools are put away as I can see what's actually missing. In this video, I plan on using the same trick, but with, for my Forzner bit collection. This will do three things for me. It will make it easy to quickly identify the bit I need, Storage will be far easier, and at a glance I'll know what I'm missing.
you for watching. This was a quick fun project that makes putting Forzner bits away easy. If there's something you want to see made in the future, comment below. Making an instructable for this is in my future plan, so always check for pinned comments in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell and follow me on Instagram at Makings with Rob. And remember to keep making things.